managed to pop these eye masks. It was hard to pop them on if you saw my time lapse. I had to go and use the mirror to do it because it's not easy to apply colors all over eyes and your eyebrows. I hope I did it. I've done it all right. Uh, this is the Sarah Chapman Finesis Platinum Stem Cell Eye Masks. It's supposed to look like this when you pop it on. It goes on top of your brows and then in between you know, your eyes. It goes the whole eye area. It's very cooling when I put it on now. I need to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just enjoying my cup of tea this morning. Just want to do a bit of self-care this morning and try this mask because I had it for some time and I haven't used it and it's gonna expire next month. So I decided to bring it out and you know, I've got quite a lot of masks and then I, sometimes I forget to use them. Uh, so I just brought it out before it expires next month. Too bright and you feel it's very cooling. I think it's gonna be really nice effect on my eyes. I love this, here's the hydration on the top and also on the lid. And stem cell, stem cell eye masks. I'll keep it for 20 minutes and then I'll tell you, I'll remove it and show you the results. So here I am, it's after 20 minutes having these eye patches on, so I'm gonna remove them and have a look. Just gonna remove them. And have a look. What do I think? There isn't much of a serum. It feels hydrating and cooling when you're putting it on. I just see in my eyes. I don't see much of a difference. What do you think, guys? It was definitely cooling, but I don't feel it moisturizes as much as I thought it would, to be honest. Let me just look at it again. It's just okay for the money. I don't think it's worth it. It comes in this packaging, it's protected with this, and then it says right and left, so you know it's. Ah, it's wet, but I don't see. Now that I removed it, it felt cooling when I pop it on, and I thought it would be very moisturizing, but now that I removed it, I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest. Oh, well, let me continue with the rest of my skincare. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna use the toner from, the beautiful toner from Haru Haru Wonder. Highly recommend it, I've used up to there. Use it every day religiously because I absolutely love it. It's very watery, so I'll just pop it all over my skin. Yeah, so those patches, I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure about those ones. And the amount of money they cost is so expensive. They were very cooling when I popped them on, but I don't see any much of moisturization or anything happening in my eyes, to be honest. So, mm. very disappointed with that product. Then I'm gonna use the Balance Me Vitamin C. This was said to me from Balance Me to try the Vitamin C product and it's really lovely. It's a nice, beautiful glow, my skin. And then I'm gonna use a moisturizer. It's so nice, nice glow on my skin. Very pretty. And using for the first time the Voltaire, I had a sample on my last Liberty box and I want to try it today. It's the Natural Glow Day Cream. First of all, I like moisturizers and it's because they're glowy. Quite excited to give that a go. So let's have a look at the consistency of the cream. Okay. I'm just going to use all of it to be honest. It's nice consistency, nice. Oh, it feels lovely. Ooh, it's really nice. The thing with water, it has this horrible scent. It's not easy to spread the product, I think so. But it feels really nice, but it's not easy to spread. For that reason, I'm popping over like this moisturizer to use it every day. You see? like little white cast. You need to blend it quite a lot before it disappears. I hate that in creams. I've got a Verden uh, body moisturizer who does the same thing and I don't like using it but it's 
so I think it gives me a nice glow definitely but I don't like because you have to rub it quite a lot before it sinks into your skin. lovely day out shopping and have some lunch outside when I come back home I order this gorgeous and very delicious slice of cake it's called the Bruce cake and it's like a limited edition packaging they've got going on it's the most uh, delicious chocolate cake that you ever tried so if you've got it's it's called get baked if you find it anywhere I think they're based in UK you can always get it you're gonna enjoy it's the best cake ever This is what I had to enjoy on Valentine's Day, this gorgeous brioche chocolate chip uh, bread. It was delicious and I had it, I paired it with a lovely hot chocolate which I made for myself and I added the milk, the hot chocolate and then on the top I popped some uh, fresh dairy cream and a hard biscuit to enjoy. Thank you everyone for watching this vlog. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.